Good morning. Good morning, Facebook, Periscope, and Instagram. Happy Monday. Happy new week. Happy new day. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, Kim Bay. Good morning. How are you, love? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I saw a few other people pop in. I didn't say, hey, there you go. Hey, Erica. How are you? Hey, Facebook. How are you, loves? Good morning. Hey, Tiffany. How are you? Welcome to the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. I am Deetra True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. Good morning, uh, Newbie Locks. How are you, lovey? Yeah, I'm a little sleepy too. Um, I think this weekend, just um, bridal showers and all kinds of celebrations and all kinds of stuff. Um, I need like another day. Good morning, Lakita. How are you, love? But I am your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor coming to help you get out of your own way and get to the business of living. And we do that by helping you to get unstuck and get started. Hey, boss lady, how are you, love? Hey, motor craftsman. Good morning, everybody. I see you joining in. Good morning, good morning. Let me uh, do my due diligence, um, and I'm going to share. And so I'm just going to ask you if you're on Periscope, if you could swipe right on the iPhone and swipe up on the Android. Good morning, Tamara. How are you, love? Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, but share, swipe right on the iPhone, phone, swipe up on the Android and share, share, share. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. And then those of you who are on Facebook, if you can, please share, share, share. Invite people into this morning's uh, Monday Motivation. We are having Monday Motivation today. And um, today we're talking about being a sponge. And so before we jump into any of those things, I want to let you know. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Happy Monday. Um, as you know, every month we do a Life Scope Masterclass to culminate this month's topic. Hey, Sharon, how are you? And so our life, our Masterclass um, is uh, now open for enrollment. And so you can go to trueheartspeaks.com. Hey, uh, creative lady. Hey, Siobhan. You can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash change. Trueheartspeaks.com forward slash change to register. Early bird registration is 37 and regular, 37, regular re enrollment is uh, 47. Hey, Shermani. Hey, Kim. Thank you for sharing. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, we are in a new week, right? A new week, a new day, new opportunities to um, to do it over again, right? We get a do-over um, or maybe not a do-over, but a remake. Good morning. Hey, Love Life E. How are you, love? So, yeah. So, good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you had a good weekend. Um, and if not, it's an opportunity to have a great week, right? So, um, but again, registration is now open for the Life Scope Masterclass. Um, and the topic is called Change Sucks or Does It, right? And so we're going to be talking all about, let me pull this up. Um, obviously, it's a culmination of what we've been talking about all month. Um, but we're going to have conversation and really, um, you know, a lot of times when I'm teaching you during the month, I don't get a chance to really teach you the how. And so that's going to be the how. Um, the, the Life Scope Masterclass is always the how to good morning, Laura. Good morning, everybody joining in is always the how to what we've been teaching on the what and the why, right? And so we're going to, you know, obviously identify and pay, learn how to identify and pay attention to the writing on the wall. Hey, Nakia, how are you? Hey, Makia, thank you for sharing. Um, how to recognize change and then move with it because a lot of times we don't we don't recognize it. We're not paying attention. Uh, we also weren't going to talk about how to adjust to change no matter how uncomfortable it may feel. Um, and then we're going to talk about how to apply, you know, what we've been talking about all month. Hey, Kita, how are you? So, um, early bird registration ends Wednesday and that's $37. So if you're interested in registering for the Life Scope Masterclass is next Tuesday at seven o'clock. It is a webinar. Hey, AZ, how are you? And so, um, the best part about the webinars is that they are recorded. So if you can't make it live, if you've got another meeting, if you've got prior, you know, maybe in a graduation or I don't know, Bible study, whatever you've got going on next Tuesday, um, hey, Tamara, how are you, love? Um, whatever you have going on, it's okay because it's recorded. And so once the webinar is over, you'll get it emailed right to you, right? And so you can watch it at your leisure. You get lifetime access. Hey, Tiffany, how are you, love? So, um, hey, Larry, good morning. How are you? Um, and so, you know, if you're on Periscope, let's double tap the screen. We're shooting for 3 million hearts this month. Um, we're at like 2.9, I don't know, um, 2.93, right? So we still have about 70,000 hearts to go. Hey, Tamika, how are you, lovey? Hey, Halise. Hey, everybody. Hey, Doe7161. How are you? Uh, my sinuses are acting crazy. My nose is trying to run. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Mikhail. How are you? Good morning, everybody. I'm good. Um, 
I'm a little nasally. This is allergy season, so you all will have to just bear with me. Um, you know, red nose, you know, eyes, all kind of that stuff. Just my throat is scratchy. My nose is running. My eyes are itchy. Um, I'm just told I'm allergic to grass, dust, pollen, all of it, right? Hello, 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 my newbie. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, big boy Charles. Good morning, Knight Johnson. How are you? Jason, good morning. Uh, welcome to the Morning Life Scope. With True Heart Speaks, that would be me, Deidre True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I Speak Life mentor, helping you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living, right? You got allergies too. It's horrible, right? So, um, but yeah, so trueheartspeaks.com forward slash change. Um, hey, how are you? Uh, Miss Fit Mom, Lisa Griffin. Good morning, love. Thanks for joining. Um, I have to do my own due diligence and share. But again, if those of you who are brand new, every month we do a Life Scope Masterclass to culminate this every month's topic. And so this month we're talking about change. Yes, thanks for welcoming him. And um, and so it's uh, $37 early bird and then $47 regular. Um, it is a 90-minute uh, webinar where I teach for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then we do q and A. I I do some on-hand coaching. Um, just to kind of coach you through that that specific topic, it's really good. Um, and most anybody will tell you that what we share um, within the Life Scope Masterclass is, you know, it's not the exact same thing that I share each month. So you can be like, well, you know, I've been with her all month. It probably isn't anything different. I can promise you, it is. Um, it's always different. Um, so you know, again, join me, join me, join me. Let me share on Facebook. My eyes are just agitated. I just I feel like I need to. Um just not wear my glasses right now so if you all could double tap the screen let's give hearts we're going to do hearts of worship in a minute and then i'm going to teach today's lesson on being a sponge so yeah so my allergies i and i don't have anything so let me say good morning to you all let's, um, yes thank you for um sharing and following good morning everybody let's get those hearts going good morning Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just sharing on Facebook, so you all just bear with me for a quick second, and I'm, we're going to get started, <coughs> and bear with my sinuses. It's just, ugh. And it's funny, you all, because um, I, I think like last week, I could tell um, my throat started scratching, and I was just like, oh, God, it's just the worst feeling ever. So, you know, I am um, can't wait to read your book. I can't wait for you to read my book, too. They will be here next week. So those of you who pre-ordered my book, 30 Days of Thanks. Um, hey, Camara! Ah! Um, those of you who pre-ordered my book. Hey, Asia Poo, how are you, love? Hey, everybody who's joining in. Um, it'll be here next week. And then um, I will be in the process of um, packing, right? If I could show you, I ordered my envelopes already. And um, I have over 100 books to mail and probably in total, maybe about 60 or 70 orders that comprise those over 100 books. So I'm super excited about you reading my book and then also letting me know what you think about it. I mean, some of you have been with me um, and so you you know the book. Um, and so what's going to be huge is I'm going to be looking for people to, to give me really good reviews so that other people can learn about the book and buy the book and be blessed by the book. So I'm super excited. Um uh, okay, let me, um, let me focus here, y'all. So, yes, yeah, so, all right, so let me, um, let me share that there. <coughs> all right. And then, um, good morning. Hey, Karima, how are you, love? Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, Virgin Lady. Hey, Kara Mukar. Hey, Mokar or Mukar, good morning. All right. Oh, there we go. Mm. All right. Thank you for inviting and sharing followers. Yes. All right, let's get this party started. So, good morning, everybody. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for the hearts. Let's just give hearts of worship. So those of you who can double tap, we do a couple of seconds. Hey, Rashonda, how are you? Good morning, love, on Facebook. Let's do hearts of worship. Double tap the screen. And so those of you who are new, um, when I get excited, sometimes I push 
I push through it. Um, but our hearts of worship really is is to, to bring us collectively class to start today online. Pray for me. We are praying. We are doing hearts of worship for Nakia, who's starting school today. She's starting her classes. Now, this is a PhD program, right? Um, and so let's give her some hearts as love on Nakia, our higher ed diva. Um, but we're just giving God honor, glory, and praise for another day, right? So this is our opportunity to come together, right, collectively. So you can see me. I can't see you. You can hear me. I can't hear you. I can read your comments, but I can't hear you. So where two or three are gathered together, we, that we are, um, he, the Lord said he will be here in the midst. So there are more than two or three of us gathered together here. And so I'm super excited just about God's grace and his mercy. Um, oh, finishing your masters. That's, listen, that's all right, boo. She, she gonna, you, we're going to finish this thing. We're going to bring it to complete. Right, we're going to be at the end, we're going to be able to say it is finished. So let's double tap, double tap. Let's love um, on Nakia. Let's just love on our Father, our Heavenly Father, um, just for an opportunity just to, right, we talk about not Monday morning blues, but Monday morning blessings, right? This is an opportunity for Monday morning blessings, for us to be a blessing to somebody, and maybe even for somebody to be a blessing to us, but we just honor him, we love him, right, despite what is going on in our lives, right? We It could be worse. It could, it could be worse, right? And that, I believe, is the very first day of thanks for my 30 days of thanks is this Jack giving thanks to God that it didn't happen for what didn't happen right giving thanks to God that it could be worse right it may be bad but it could be worse right yes y'all keep loving on um on Nakia higher at diva but we're just thankful we're thankful we're thankful super thankful to him right that he has never failed us right he has never left us although it may have seemed like it um but he's never left us he's never forsaken us he's always been with us right um and so yes 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 God is faithful so faithful, so faithful, so faithful. If you just take a moment just to think about what he has brought you through, what you came out of, a lot of times we forget, my God, we forget where we've come from, right? We're in a situation now, but sometimes we forget where we came from. We forget how God brought us through. We forget, right, that he carried us. We forget that we made it out, that we made it through, right? And so the same God that did it before can do it again. The same God that can rescue you before can rescue you again. The same God that can restore you before can restore you again again. The same God that can transform you before can transform you again. The same God, the same God, right? He never changes. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Praying for Baltimore. We're praying for Buffalo here. We had like a, a triple um, a triple shooting here yesterday. So we're praying for all cities, Baltimore, Buffalo, Chicago, all of our cities that are, are dealing with murders, that are dealing with gun violence, that are dealing with just a spirit of death. We are, we are praying. We are in agreement we are praying that um that change will come we are praying that transformation will come in the name of jesus and so we are just thankful we are grateful we are honored um you know that we have the ability because guess what never 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 underestimate the power of prayer because prayer god god uses prayer to, to change things right and so we all have a part to play and so some of us will be you know down in the trenches but some of us our trenches are on our knees right praying and interceding and praying for favor and praying for god right it is something about the name jesus absolutely absolutely and so we have the power right in our rightful places right never feel like well the only thing that i can do is pray baby let me tell you sometimes that's the best thing that you can do sometimes if that's the only thing that you do i tell people sometimes i may not have money but if i got prayer if you got me praying on your side listen it's better than the money that i can give you sometimes for me to pray and to intercede and to go before god on your behalf is better than me giving you the money is better than me making the donation because guess what if god before you he is more than the whole world against you let me tell y'all got me all started up in here revved up and just woo do my church mother head <laughs> yes 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 all right so let's get this party started so today we're talking to i am fired up right so let's talk about today's um topic and so i can get in and get y'all out of here right and um, we're talking about being a sponge right and so you know um one of the things that i love and this actually was um, I want to start doing more conversation and more. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, Debbie. Good morning. Um, conversations on different things. So for me, my, my passions are spiritual development, personal development, and leadership development. I love those areas. And so one of the things that I want to talk about today is in the area of kind of like um, personal and leadership development, right? Um, developing yourself, right? Y'all better stop laughing at me. Y'all listen. Mm, 
right? So, um, so, so here's the thing. I, you know, one of the things that that I want to share with you today is about being a sponge, right? And um, and how you can be a sponge. Remember, if you talk, that look at being a sponge. If you put a sponge in water, it soaks it all up, right? Obviously, you can wring it out, right? And so the idea is, is that you can wring out, you know, what you what you don't want or whatever the case may be. But the idea here is, hey, Shanae, hey, love, how are you? Um, but the idea here is being a sponge is, is that is, 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 is what I want you to do is, is surround yourself with people who know more than you, right? Um, and who know things that you don't know. Many times we, um, have a hesitancy about being around people who know more than us, being around people who, um, who challenge us, right? And so as a sponge, you want to position yourself to be in a place where you can be poured into, right? But also to soak up what people are pouring into you. Hey, Nikita, how are you, love? Um, and so you want to be a sponge. You want to soak it up. You want to be teachable. You want, hey, she well, hey, lovey. Um, you want to be coachable. You want to be flexible. You want to be adaptable. You want to be um, be learnable, right? That's not even a word, but I made it up. You want to be learnable, but more importantly, you want to be open. Why do you want to be open? I think about um, my pastor. I love my pastor. I just I was telling my husband this over the weekend. I just love, love, love him. I love his heart. I love the way that he shares. I love the way that he trains. I love the way that he rebukes and disciplines in love. Um, I love that he doesn't like messiness, right? And so what I love most, though, is, is that I can sit up under him and I can just kind of soak up just all of the, you know, the different things that he shares, right? As it relates to student ministry, as it relates to ministry in general, as it relates to um, ministering to the unchurched, right? Having a message and preaching a message and teaching a message to the unchurched. And so if you are a leader in training, which I believe that we all are in our various facets, whether you're a leader in your home, you're a leader on your job, you're a leader in your business, you're a leader at school, whatever the case may be, we are all leaders, right? We talked about that at the very beginning, living leadership. We are all leaders in our own right. There is somebody, there's a group of people who is who is assigned to us and who is attached to us who is following us so we are all a leader in our own right and so the idea is is as a leader a leader is always learning right a leader is always being poured into a leader is always always learning right and so you all know I teach you about reading books right teach you about um, learning new things right you cannot get to a place where you get stagnant right you don't want to be a know-it-all um, you don't want to be closed-minded you don't want to be cocky you don't want to be arrogant and I'm not talking about confidence because many of us will mistake confidence with arrogance. And so then we dumb down our brilliance. We dumb down, you know, our juiciness. We dumb down our awesomeness because we feel like, oh, well, I don't want them to think I'm arrogant. It's not being arrogant to know that you're good at what you're good at and you show up ready to do what you're supposed to do, right? That's not arrogance. What that is, is it's basically you're compromising who you are because of somebody else's insecurity. That's a totally different conversation, y'all, right? And so sometimes you could be placed in a situation um, or a circumstance that is unfamiliar. I'm going to be the first to tell you that I don't always like being placed in different places that is unfamiliar to me. Things like that are different, right? Change for me, um, you know, although I embrace change, I don't know that I really like it. I don't know that I like sudden change. I think I like change that I can come into agreement with and not change. It's just like, okay, boom, boom, this is it. You're like, oh, wait, hold on now. Wait, oh, wait, wait, hold on, roll on, right? And so, you know, don't be alarmed. Allow yourself to be stretched. Allow yourself to be pushed. Allow yourself to be transformed. Here's the deal. When God is allowing you to be stretched and transformed and being placed in places where maybe you don't know everything and you don't know everybody, that's a time for you to change to going from leader to learner, right? You're always a leader in your own right, but always never mistake the opportunity or never miss the opportunity to be in a space where you can be a learner, right? You're always a leader, but you should always be a learner. Lifelong learner learning, right? It's what we're all about, making sure that we are becoming the best at who God has called us to be. And so you got to be in a space where you have to, you know, you got to remember that what's familiar isn't always what's best for you. And sometimes we get caught up in the familiar places. Sometimes we get caught up in those things that, you know, oh, well, this is what I'm used to. This, you know, well, this is not like what it used to. Well, it's not supposed to be. You know, sometimes where God is calling you can't be where you were. It's where you're going. And so he's got to introduce you to some things that are, that are are different but that are also that will also prepare you for where you're going and the people who you're going to be connected with and so you got to be careful of rejecting different you got to be careful of rejecting things that aren't what you in your mind deem what it's supposed to be well we don't do it that way we well you're right you do, it's not about you right it is about being open to doing things a different way 
And sometimes God will, you gotta be careful of re rejecting things because you might be rejecting your next level to where God is taking you. And so if God can't trust you to be open and be flexible and be a sponge and take stuff in that he can't trust you to be in that position because guess what? You then have to teach people the same thing that you're learning. And so as, as I'm soaking stuff in, I wanna be able to teach you to soak stuff in. As I'm reading, I wanna teach you to read. As I'm growing, I wanna teach you to grow. As, I am, as I'm changing, I wanna teach you to change. As I'm reflecting, I want to teach you to reflect. And so we have to be mirrors to the people who are watching us and who are following us um, and who are connected to us. Because at the same time, is you know, nothing like a leader who tells you to do things that they won't do. Nothing like being a, somebody who's in a position of um, of telling you to do things that they don't necessarily respect. Good morning, Lakita. How are you, love? Nothing like following people who are not men and women of integrity and men and women of their word, right? It's nothing like that. And so one of the things that I always tell leaders is be careful that you're not the person you hated that when you were under them. Be careful that you don't become the very boss that you hated. Be careful of being the very leader that you hated. Be careful of being the very the very person, right? Sometimes we have a tendency to get cocky and to get arrogant and it's not about confidence at that time. It's about youth. It's a sense of entitlement. Be careful right be careful of 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 not um of 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 not positioning yourself or um uh, being in a place what am i trying to say here um be careful of reject of rejecting um being checked right be careful of um, being in a place where here it is that you don't think you can be checked or you don't think that you need to be checked. We all need to be checked. We all need to be held. There is we all need somebody who we are accountable to. We all need somebody who we are accountable to do. Woe unto you who has nobody who you are accountable to because you can lead your own self astray if, if, you, if you just lead to your own understanding. Woe unto you if you, if we, there has to be accountability, Vicky, absolutely. And so when we are not accountable to somebody, when we are not accountable, for one, when we're not accountable, we don't accomplish our goals. We don't accomplish the things that we set out to do. We got to be accountable to somebody. I don't care if it's a spouse. I don't care if it's a best friend. I don't care if it's a relative. I don't care who it is. You got to be accountable to somebody. Somebody's got to be saying, hey, where are you on this? What's going on with this? Hey, let me talk to you for a minute. That that you did, you can't do that anymore. I saw a um a post by a friend of mine, Tre uh, Trevor Chin, who is in Baltimore. They have, um he's the executive pastor at... Um, Epiphany Church in Baltimore, Maryland. And one of the things that he said was, is that I thank God that as a musician, um, that I had pastors who were willing to sit me down and willing to teach me um, and didn't just let me do whatever I wanted to do specifically because they valued my gift. And let me just tell you that as a, at, um, when you're teaching accountability and you're teaching responsibility, as a leader, you have a responsibility to check your people. Not only do you have a responsibility to be a sponge, but you have a responsibility to check your people. Because what happens is, is if you don't check them, then when they go to the next level, they don't think they need to be checked. And some of us have been in positions where because you were so good at what you did, nobody checked you. And so now you have a hard time being checked because you feel like they're against you. But if, when you are a sponge and, so, and guess what? Your flesh doesn't like being checked. Let me just tell you, your flesh doesn't like being checked. Your flesh doesn't like being checked. Your flesh does not like being checked. Your flesh wants to do whatever it wants to do. Your flesh wants to be, to be all about vain glory. Your flesh wants to get the glory. Your flesh wants to be all out in the open. Your flesh wants wants the, you know, the accolades and all that other kind of stuff, but you have to die daily to that flesh and you got to position yourself to be in a space where you're around people who can teach you, people who can train you, people who can help transform you, people who can help to develop you, because if not, you will not operate at your fullest capacity. You will not operate at your fullest capacity. I can honestly say that the five years that I have been at my church and the last two years that I have literally really sat under and really probably the last year because I've really sat under the leadership of my pastor this last year because I'm on staff um, and I'm part of the leadership team. But literally just even from the very beginning um, when I signed up to be a part of and that was probably after about year three of being at the church systems, structure, um, you know, how they love on people, how they, um, 
<clears throat> their philosophy for how they do what they do, um, being clear on who their tar target audience is and who, 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 who actually walks in the door. I mean, there's so many different things that I have learned that, and I'll just be honest that I've never learned anywhere else. I've never learned anywhere else. And I remember the first time that I went to, and I'm going to close on this, um, and then I'm going to go and pray and let you guys go. Um, but the, the, the biggest thing is, is I remember go, being a part of our volunteer orientation and going through good morning, wor morning, working break till 7.50. Oh, okay. Awesome. So you'll be done by that, by then. Um, hey there. And so what ended up happening was, is I went there, they gave me a folder um, with job description, um, the mission, uh, you know, just kind of all kinds of stuff. And I just sat there, you know, even like expectations, how you do your job, that they were going to pair you up with somebody who could show you how to do. I mean, there's so many different things. And I sat there and I thought to myself, thinking back to some of my other churches that I had been to, thinking that if more people operated like this, we wouldn't lose, we wouldn't lose as many people. If more people operate it like this, because a lot of people say, well, we can't get we can't get volunteers. We can't get people to sign up. And when we get them to sign up, we can't keep them. Well, sometimes your stuff is haphazard. Sometimes your stuff is bootleg. Sometimes your stuff is not it's not kosher. There's not a system to it. Right. And so as a sponge, I'm soaking it all up. As a sponge, I'm soaking it all up. I'm paying attention. I'm watching how things are operating and I'm being quiet because I know that God is just, so when God places you in places that you normally wouldn't find yourself, be quiet, stop complaining and pay and ask God what it is that you need to be learning in that space. Stop running your mouth. Stop. Well, I don't even know why I got to be here. Like, what is all this is God? I don't know why you place me here. This is I know because I've been there. I've had that conversation. And I and let me just tell you that every single time he would be like, be quiet and pay attention. Be quiet and pay attention. Be quiet and pay attention to what's going on around. I'm trying to teach you something here. You could just shut your mouth. <laughs> and I'm like, fine, God. Okay, 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 okay. And the quieter I got, the more I started to pay attention to what was going on around me, right? I started to see. I started to, and so when God starts shifting you and introducing you to new things and new ways of doing things and new people who are doing things in a different way that you've done it before, please, please, please be quiet. And just and be quiet long enough to say, OK, God, I know that I didn't put myself here. I know I didn't ask for this, but I know that there's a reason why I'm here. Just talk to me. Talk me through it. Just talk me through it. Right. Just talk me through it. Just talk me through it. And so for some of you, you're too busy coming in and thinking, you know, everything too busy going in because you've been at a guess what? Every level comes a new opportunity to learn. And so as a leader. Right. In, in various fast, just me, I just left the church because I wasn't growing no system. People just wanted me to be quiet and go alone. Mm. Right. And so being in a space where God can introduce you, right, Lisa, to new things and new ways of being, because sometimes God will drop you in a place and you'll be like, oh, goodness, like you told me to come here. Like, I don't I don't know about this. Pay attention. Pay attention. Shut your mouth and just listen. Because at the end of the day, there is always something for us to learn in every season of our lives and in every opportunity. There's always, even in the most, like just the craziest stuff, the stuff that we're just like, God, you could, there, you can't tell me that there's something I can learn out of this. Like, I need you to just come and get me out of here. And I'm talking about the stuff that just to some extent, like just rips your heart open that you just like, Lord, like I just, oh, a new way of being absolutely Vicky. And so, you know, be patient with God. Be patient with yourself. Don't get so cocky and so to the point of where you think that where you are is where you have arrived because there is always a new level that God wants to take you to. There's always something that he wants to teach you. Right? All things work together. Absolutely, Shanae. <laughs> so you read in my mail. Ah! I didn't mean to. So let's pray so I can let you go. Father, we thank you for this time and this space. We thank you for this message of being a sponge. We thank you, God, that, you know... 
you always give us a message that we need right when we need it. And so on this Monday, God, um, whatever, wherever we are, whether it's on, at work, whether it's in our business, whether it's in ministry, um, whether it's even at home, um, there's always, you know, new things to learn. And so, and new people who you can connect us with to be able to teach us and help us, God, to not be so cocky and so um, even just standoffish or even so just stubborn to the point, God, that we would not receive um, what it is that you have for us to receive, that we would not receive um, the teaching and the stretching and the growing that you would have for us in this new space. And so, Lord, on this Monday, I'm just asking that you would help us to be open, that you would help us to be teachable, that you would help us to be coachable, that you would help us to be flexible, that you would help us to be adaptable, that you would help us to be learnable, right? That you would help us to be open um, to any and everything that would allow us to operate in the fullest capacity of who you have called us to be. And so we're thankful for the opportunity to be a sponge. We're thankful for the opportunity to be quiet and to, to just, um, uh, you know, not only to watch and pray, but to be in a space where um, we can be quiet and listen. And so we honor you, God. We honor this message. We honor the opportunity to be poured into. We honor the opportunity to soak up what you are giving us. We honor the opportunity for the uncomfortable places, the unfamiliar places. We're thankful for the opportunity um, to just grow and to be who you have called us to be. And so we're thankful, God. We magnify you. We praise you. We thank you. Um, in the master's name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So I hope that this was helpful for you all. Um, I, hey, Tashika, how are you, lovey? Go back and check the replay today. It was really, really, really good. Good morning, love. I hope today is awesome with the little babies. And um, so, yeah, and don't forget, so glad I joined in this day. I'm glad too, Lisa. Thank you so much. And those of you who are just joining in, tomorrow we will pick up with... Um, our monthly topic. So those of you who don't know, every Monday is a motivational Monday. So we do a motivational message and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is our monthly topic. So we'll pick up with um, continuing reading Who Moved My Cheese as well as um, talking um, and having conversation about the topic of change. If you are interested or ready to register for this month's LifeScope Masterclass, um, enrollment is now open. You can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash change, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash change, and you can register it's $37 for early enrollment and $47 for regular enrollment. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed that. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome Tuesday. Um, as I promised, I really am trying to get closer and closer and closer to being done at 745 out of respect for your time to give me a chance to kind of decompress and get my little person up for school. Um, and just so that we can just kind of get in and get out, right? You are so welcome. Y'all have an awesome day. I love y'all. Please be sure to share this, right? Um, just so you all know that the messages do go on face uh, up on YouTube. So if you know somebody who is not on Periscope, thanks, love, and you are not, and they're not on Facebook, um, but the the playlist, the change playlist, um, is also now on 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 my True Heart Speaks Facebook page. So you can specifically go to the change playlist and you can watch um, this month's um, Periscopes. I mean, Life Scopes, all the way from the beginning. And then, like I said, we're on YouTube. So people who are not on Facebook or people who are not on, you know, Periscope, you're like, oh my God, I need for them to see this message. They are now on YouTube. And so you can share those as well on YouTube. And so I'm super excited about that, um, being able to share those. So thank you everybody for sharing um, today's message. You all have an awesome Monday. Remember today is not Monday morning blues. It's Monday morning blessings. You have a responsibility to be salt and light. Somebody is watching you. Somebody is um, paying attention to you. And so I want you to want to make sure that you are repping, right? I am Christ's life. You are repping correct, right? Um, if you need to go into the bathroom and wash your face and brighten your eyes a little bit, make sure you love on somebody today. Send them a text message, send them a, you know, call, text, all kinds of stuff, right? Um, so yes, yeah, so have an awesome day. Have an awesome Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Hello from Russia. Good morning, love. Um, I appreciate you. Um, Doe 7161. I love you, love. I love you, love you, love you, love you, I love you, I love you. Um, and so yeah, so we're here tomorrow, 745, 6, 715 to 745 Eastern Standard Time. So some of you I know it might be good, you know, I should start saying good morning, good afternoon, good night, because I know in different places of the world it's evening or afternoon. Um, but you all have an awesome day. And so I will see y'all tomorrow morning, same time, same place for the morning life scope. We will continue our conversation with who moved my cheese change. Goodbye.